beautifully clean trail. I'll be. Man, I, I gotta say, the trail in here, in the, um, in the underdown, is the most lovingly maintained trail that I have seen yet on this Ice Age trail. Just look. Let me get down. I'll show you closer. You got to look at this. I think somebody's come through here with a leaf blower. Just amazing. Amazing. This is a pleasure to walk on, that's for sure. <laughs> a leaf blower or something. Love it. So here's a good example. I swear there's somebody with a leaf blower had done this. Because you can see the trail continues on free of debris. And it crosses paths. And you can see the regular kind of matting of leaves that trail that goes up there. But on this one, nope. I love it. That is I-A-T loving right there. Whoo. <laughs> Looks like somebody needs a fresh pair of legs. <laughs> Under down, love it. One of my faves so far. This next segment is the Harrison Hills. And that, I'm looking forward to that one too. Oh, I was wrong. Not Harrison Hills, not yet. Out the junction. Okay. <laughs> Out the junction, let's see what you got here for me. normal coating of leaves on the trail. That's all right. <laughs> if I, good morning. This Alta section is, uh, seems like it once was a, like an old rail line, I think, that was converted, but like, because that kind of has just that grade and a straightness to it that they do. But I think it was done a long time ago because there's a lot of trees kind of growing up on it and it's a little lumpier dirt, lots of leaves piled on and it's uh just seems like it was done a long time ago. So I might have to check on that, but it's kind of nice. Full of deer, that's for sure. <laughs> All right. The Alta was pretty short. But now, I'm into the Harrison Hills segment. This one should be nice. <laughs> well. Thanks, Herb. Nice. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, let's go around this fella. It's just kind of hogging the trail. Come on, man. Yeah, there's some hills. <laughs> on top of Lookout Mountain, the highest point on the whole of the Ice Age Trail. And look at what there is here. <laughs> like a big old tower. Ay, ay, ay. Bet you I got service though. <laughs> oh man. Here is a clear and sandy stream. 
which is pretty uncommon in here, I found today. That's about the clearest water I've seen in days. I'm gonna water up. <laughs> I do love days like this. Look at that, I'm still in the middle of my breakfast. My tent's still up. <sighs> Slacking. It's like a Sunday morning for me. I don't think it's Sunday though. It's probably like Tuesday. I don't know. Doesn't really matter, but. Oh. Good morning, everybody. So I was thinking laying there last night before I went to sleep and I was thinking about Ice Age Trail is so varied and it runs over all these so many different parts of the state and in talking to people talk to some farmers on one of the road walks or everybody knows that little piece of this Ice Age Trail right like and they don't realize the the extent of it for the most part uh one farmer, he's like, oh, yeah, you're way far away from, from the trail. It's way down, you know, it's telling me where the, where the Ice Age Trail is and stuff. And uh, it's just kind of funny how, how it is in people's minds. So I was laying there last night, and uh, it kind of reminds me of, like, the Ice Age Trail kind of reminds me of that story of the, the three blind men and the elephant. Because, uh, I don't know, if there's a story, I guess, real quick, is uh, these three three old blind men, friends all their lives, you know, and they uh, they chance to meet uh, a, a, an elephant one time and uh, at the circus or something, right? And the, the one guy, he was, feels the tail. He's like, wow, this elephant, it's a long, skinny, wiry little thing. And well, one of the other blind man he's uh feeling he's he's like oh wow he gets to feel the ear right and so for him the elephant is this long leathery large like flat and the other guy the third blind man he got uh, he when he he meets the elephant he's reaching out and he feels the leg he's like wow it's like a tree trunk you know it's it's like just you know just uh thick and huge and solid and so those three blind men, they each got to meet the elephant, right? So in their heads, they have this idea of what it is. And they're all equally true, but not entirely correct as far as the whole of it goes. And uh, that's kind of what this Ice Age Trail is like, I think. It's, uh, it's kind of cool that way. Different people have a, just a whole different idea of what it is based on the little bit that they know. And uh, that's one of the cool things about like sharing my hike is that, man, you get to see all of these pieces. You get to see the whole elephant here. But I don't know. That's just something I was thinking about. And uh, I was thinking about it more this morning. I kind of, I like that story, but it's, uh, it's kind of true. Ice Age Trail, beautiful elephant. <laughs> all right, loaded up, ready to go. But before I leave camp, every day, without exception, I've learned to do a stupid check. <laughs> what is a stupid check? Just walk around and see if you left something laying there. It uh, doesn't usually happen that I find anything because everything kind of has a place when I'm packing up and it's routine, but you'd, uh, you'd be surprised. So There was some fella camped here before he left I don't know if you see it but tent steaks and a little tin of chew <laughs> but that is the reason you do a stupid check I hate to get down the road and this evening set up my tent and find out ooh I don't have steaks alright looks good time to hike Hey, you know what I realized? It's about a month now that I've been on this trail and hiking. <laughs> I'm only like, man, 
just half as far as I thought I'd be, but in the end, that doesn't really matter. I've learned when you're through hiking, what matters more is that you just get up and keep walking. And that uh, that's what I'm doing. But one month, that's pretty nice. Glad I slept in today. That's kind of like a little celebration. <laughs> sunny spot speaking of sunny spots it has been some uncommon nice weather these past few days truly loving this but I know better than to think that it's all oh it's just always gonna be like this no I'm pretty sure it'll change sooner or later probably on the sooner side of things it's one thing you can count on with the weather here always change always whether it's snowing or it's shining <laughs> all right i think this is the end of the harrison hills let's see yeah look at that harrison hills and now hmm, parish something or other i think i go down this way just a little bit but Let's see what's next. Man, Harrison Hills, thumbs up. I like that. Some good climbing. Relatively dry feet most of the way. And those hills are loving it. Parish Hills.